Hello everyone and welcome to Dickwad 2024 from the Purple Schlub House. This is week 7 action and that's going to bring us Goofaman versus Moose Merlin. Hi everyone. My name is Matt Hansen. My GTM name is Chubby Cox. For anyone who is unfamiliar with Dick Wad, this is a handicapped tournament, and GSPs do matter. Goofa is going to send that one down the right-hand side. Goofa is getting one stroke uh, in today's match. Moose is going to send this one over to the left side. Both players sending it out with torpedoes, both going to different sides of this hill. Goofa Man is going to be first up. He's going pretty damn strong with that two iron. And it bounces right over the left side of that hole. But he cleans it up, no problem whatsoever. Moose coming in with a one iron stinger. A little bit off on that back swipe. And a little bit off on that front swipe, but he gets GSPs. Good first shot, or second shot, but first hole for... Moose, who takes a early GSP lead, down by one stroke. Goofa sending this one out long into that very reachable hole today. Goofa Man is a competitive sand volleyball player. That's when he's not playing GP GTM. Moose is going to send this one also deep down this green. Now, the beautiful thing about this green, it's one of those rare second holes is completely flat, which makes it a pretty easy putt no matter where you are on that. Just don't get it 130 feet away. All right, Goofa Man's going to go with a sniper here, an iron sniper on hole three. I cannot say that I've ever played an iron sniper. I don't even know if I've played with an iron here, but... He gets the job done. Easy putt coming up here. Great job. Now Moose is going with the high lofted wood jav. It's going to put this one up right behind the hole. It is not going to come down far enough. But Moose is going to have a pretty easy putt downhill. 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 Right to. And it's in the cup. Goofa Man, uh, also known as Brian Pardis, is, uh, he hails from Illinois. You may know such phenomenal GTM players such as Paco and Lumpy17, who also hail from Illinois. I hope I didn't miss somebody. All right, both of these players have pretty good looks. They're on the fairway. Moose is going to go first with a little bit taken off that three iron and almost macumboed, almost macumboed back into that sand trap, but no problem whatsoever. Easy going putt. He's in for three. Goofa Man also with a three iron, but a sniper sends that up there safely. He's going to clean this one up. Maintain his one stro. stro <laughs> My God, this guy can't talk. I'm not. I'm not starting over though. Much like Chad Shrump, I will power on. Goofa Man has a one-stroke lead into hole five. He's gone down below, whereas Moose is going to go up high here. If you guys don't know, Moose Merlin hails from Ontario, Canada. There's only one other gentleman that I'm familiar with from Ontario, Canada that's also a GTM player who travels to Windy City Showdowns, and that is Ryan Tusky, otherwise known as Fly Rye. Oh boy. Goofa Man doesn't make it 
onto the green and is gonna face a challenging but beautiful chip shot right there. Great cleanup. He is, <laughs> we're on to hole six. Another sniper down low. Barrett Detterman is hard as a rock seeing all of these snipers on this round. Just not low lofted club snipers. We're going to go with another sniper here from Moose. Perfectly judged. An orbit would have been beautiful right there. Everyone loves to see an orbit rip back towards the hole. All right, through six, we have Goofaman with a one-stroke lead, Moose Merlin with the only GSP so far, and I spoke too soon. Goofaman with just a few more GSPs than Bruce Merlin. Bruce is gonna go with this is a little bit, as the wind is pushing it out that way and it's not going to come back, so Moose is going to clean this one up, no problem. And we are on to hole eight. No drop stroke so far. We have text messages coming in. Hopefully that's confirming a really solid order from Amazon. Or something of that sort. Both players put it in the taint right there on the neck of hole eight. Goofaman going with a driver, which hopefully will clear that grass and barely makes it onto the green. Beautifully played. He knew exactly what he was doing, and he was right for it. In the hole for 13 now. And Bruce is going with an HLD. Will this actually make the green? It will not. And so Bruce is going to have himself just a little tester of a chip here. I'm not sure if I didn't see him actually move left. And that one's going to go right and short. And so the first drop stroke of the match is going to see Bruce fall two back. As we head to hole nine, Goofaman playing six wood and doesn't doesn't necessarily curl that one back with the front up up to one. So he's gone deep and is in the bunker. Bruce has gone deep and is on fringe or rough. Little high lofted wedge there is going to be short but in the hole, so he has dropped one. Let's see if Bruce can pull back this stroke, and he does. Great job. He is now only down one stroke heading into the back nine. So, 15-14, Goofa Man in the lead here, as Moose is going to lead us off on hole 10, the back nine of Bonnie Moore. Full of a lot of exciting holes. We'll see what both of these players can do. Goofa Man, who is also a former Grandmaster Champion of Golden Tee Mobile Fight Club. Not many people out there can say that they are former Grandmaster Champions of Fight Club. But our man, Goofa Man, can. Moose is in. With an easy three, we got an exciting little grabber play here. Is going to go above the hole? No, it's short of the hole. It's going to just leave himself a little chip. He is making, or is this a putt? Sorry. He is going with a putt. He's worried that that lip might send that thing flying up and over. All right. Moose is going to go with a four wood maniacs. He's not screwing around with that hill. But he is screwing around with that fringe up front. Koofa Man's going with a high T. HLD. Is this going to have enough? It is not. It's also going to leave him with a crazy downhill lie. 
which takes off a lot of distance. And he's just finding out how much distance is being taken off of that shot. Both players chipping from in front of the green. Moose, again, is leaving himself off to the right with a chip. He's going to clean that one up. No problem. Let's see if Gufa can sink this one and regain that two-stroke lead. Boom, in the hole. More great shot points. I think that gives him about a 5,000 great shot point lead. It says 3,000. I'm going to go with 3,000. <laughs> and a two-stroke advantage. Uh, Moose up on the top of the hill. So is Gufa. Pretty good-looking shots into this. No, no worry about the bunkers over there to the right. Sends that one a little long, but this should be just an easy right one putt in the hole. No problem. Let's see if Moose can... Well, he's also going to use a sniper here. Another place I love to rip a orbit back towards this hole. This one might have actually been a, an okay jab look as well. Okay, very tricky elevation change hole here, and Moose has left this one way off to the left. This is going to leave him with a, oof, a left 11 putt. Let's see what Moose can do with this one. Ooh, just sends it off to the left. Is this going to be another drop shot? Going with the putter. Okay. Good job. Goofa leaves this one in a great spot. Only a left five. Very manageable. Put that in the bottom of the cup. He does. Sneaks it in the left side door. If I said that Gufa had a two-stroke lead after 10, well, I guess the two-stroke lead is now. Okay. Yeah, because I miscounted those strokes on 10. My bad. All right. Right seven. Maybe a little bit of a tester, but only a 20-foot putt. Gufa in the hole. Moose has got to make up some strokes here and make them up quickly. Good shot, good aim. A little bit short and left, but an easy putt. This is a hole where uh, oftentimes it's, it's just good to get away from here with two strokes. Both of these guys are going to send torpedoes up the hill. It looks like a Windows 95 background right there. Great job by both players. This is not a jab look, and Pardis is going to use 9 wood, 90%, 91% with a sniper. Straight uphill putt. Let's see what Moose has in store for us. Going with a 5 iron. Iron shots from here are, yeah, <laughs> those are tough to land on the green. Uh, good thought. Needed that one to roll out. Easy chip. Good job by Moose. Beautiful look here on 16. These players are both going to most likely be out on the fairway. Goofa first. Very nicely done. Moose next. Nicely done as well. Let's see what type of shot they have in store here. Seven wood, which is going to move with this 60 mile an hour wind way right, which should land near the hole. Okay, just a little bit above it, but a challenging, tough one. Tough one. Tough green, tough result there. He's going to clean this one up though. Should be no problem. Great job by Brian. All right, what is Moose? Moose is going with the exciting oh. seven wood jab. Love it. Gonna challenge this one, but is it gonna get back left? Not enough. 
Let's see if uh, Moose can scrape back one of those strokes here on 16. And he does. Great job by Bruce. Pulls out the three. Exciting finishing holes here on Bonnie Moore. Goof is going to put that one nicely right above the top of the hole. Easy putt downhill. I would really love to see Moose really challenge this hole with a sniper. Two iron, one iron, three iron. Three iron, we can, we can work with that. Let's, let's make some excitement here. Oh, a little GSP. Uh, no love. Six feet. Tough one. All right. Can Moose do magic here on 18? Not a bad looking setup. Good looking drive. Not a hole out, but Moose is going to be hoping for some chaos here from Goofa. Good finish for Moose. I don't think we're going to see chaos here as this is a just a five wood with that 16 mile an hour wind. That should be put right out there near the hole as well. And it is. Similar location to Moose. This should be cleaned up. Nice and easy. And congratulations to Goofa Man in this week seven Dick Wad matchup. This was a one stroke win for Goofa Man. I'm Matt Hansen. I'm your village idiot. Thank you for watching this matchup tonight. And I look forward to seeing all of you in week eight of Dick Wad. Yeah, later, dickwad. <laughs>